Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. I am going to be making a canvas banner today. And let me get this pulled up really quick. Oops. I've got it up here on my computer, so if you guys have comments or questions, you can see it. Or I can see it, I guess. Give me a second. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Okay, there we go. Now I think we're good. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do, so I have this little pad underneath here. This is the Chalk Couture Canvas Banner, so if you've never seen them before, it comes with these two sets here and they're magnetic. So you can, so you put it on either end and then it closes around the banner, which I'll put inside in a little bit once I get done. And then there is a string that you attach to it here. So there's one for the top, and then there's one for the bottom. Ooh, and that's kind of a strong magnet, isn't it? Oh boy. I've got my Cricut Easy Press here. So I'm going to press my banner first. You can just use an iron that works too. Either way. Oops, sorry, I'm bumping the camera. There we go. Thank you everyone for tuning in. So you wanna make sure that when you're doing fabric or when you're inking that your surface is smooth to start with. So you're gonna to wanna to iron it or you can use, if you've got an easy press like this one, it goes much quicker. There we go, set that back down. And we're gonna need that later to heat set it too. So pull that out. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, comment where you're watching from, or just say hi. Let me know who's on here. And if you haven't liked um, my page yet, I would love it if you could give me a quick like. There we go, so I've got my ink map that I'm going to put underneath my banner and I'm gonna try and center it as best as I can. And the ink mat, basically it's a sticky mat to give your stencil, your transfer, um, so it doesn't wiggle around. So it gives it a little bit more of a harder surface. So I am making this for my booth, which is at Vintage Market Days in St. Louis, technically Chesterfield, next weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And so if you're in the St. Louis area, come check it out. I would love to see you. I'm going to be doing the transfer, which I have not done yet. On the day you were born, the angels clapped their hands and the moon danced with the stars, which I think is really cute. Adorable. So... If you don't have an ink mat, you can use like a Cricut mat or a Silhouette mat. You can use just a piece of cardboard, um, but really having something sticky is best because then it keeps your keeps your um, banner from moving around on you. can't decide. I've got four colors here that I know I want to use. I just don't know how I want to use them. Okay. So I find that with these big transfers, if I kind of lay it down and pull it like that, it helps to get it centered. And I know that's not exactly centered. But we'll get close. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Can you guys see all of that? All right. I'm gonna smooth it out. 
and I'm going to start whoop. so the easy press if you don't use it for a certain amount of time it has an automatic shut off unless you push the button so it beeps at you and then you have to push the button to get it to stay on okay so let's see I think I'm gonna do so the stars are all gonna be gold I think the angel and the moon I'll do silver so we've got gold, we've got, we'll do silver with that one. What else? Um, and then we'll do the words in teal and this is couture coral. So let's see. I think I'm gonna do it in teal with accent words. So somebody tell me, cause there are seven people on here. What words should I accent? So what words should I do in coral? I don't know. I'm thinking moon maybe or born angels. I don't know. Someone tell me what words should I do in coral instead of teal? Help me out. Okay. Get that out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna start with the silver parts. So I'm gonna mix up my ink. All right, so let's do this little angel. And I'm gonna squeegee it on and then I'm gonna peel it up because I don't really want it to dry. Now you don't have to worry about that quite as much with the ink than you do with our paste, but you don't want it really to dry in the transfer. So I'm gonna peel it up just a little bit. Born moon and stars, angel stars, angel moon and stars. Oh good, we're all kind of on the same page. Yay! So let's do Okay, let's do stars and moon and angels. We'll do a combination of all three guys. Thank you for suggesting. Love it. All right. And then let's do the moon in silver. I think I might be the messiest chalk couture person out there because I can't keep it off my hands or my table. It just gets everywhere. So if you have questions about what I'm doing, feel free to comment, ask away. Okay. Oops. Set that down. Does the ink dry fast like the chalk paint? Not as fast, Stephanie. Not as fast. So like when you're chalking, um, you have to remove your stencil pretty quickly. With the ink, you don't have to worry about it quite so much because it is, it is thinner, it's a different consistency, but it does not dry as fast. Plus it's on fabric which naturally takes a little bit longer to dry than say a chalkboard. So 20 people on here. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Love it. Whoops. I missed a star. I accidentally got some silver in that star. Comment. Let me know where you're watching from. Say hi. This is one of our newer stencils it, or transfers. I should say it was released in February, I think. All right, now let's do the, sil or not the silver. We just did the silver. Let's do the gold. So the thing, whoops. Yeah, the, so the thing you have to remember about the ink is that, um, oh, come on, there we go. No, I totally lost my train of thought because I was focused on this star. 
Oh, I know what I was gonna say. The thing you have to remember about the ink is that a little bit goes a long ways. So, because it's thinner, and you have to press it down into the screen a little bit more to make sure that it goes through. Especially on these shimmer colors, so like the shimmer gold and the shimmer silver. I always go over it just a couple extra times to make sure that I got it in there. And I'm actually gonna use, so this is our multi-tool. Jacqueline watching from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Thanks for tuning in. I was in Fayetteville for a show in October. I did one of the, not the War Eagle show, but one of the surrounding shows that always pop up that weekend. It's a pretty drive. It's probably one of my favorite drives is driving down to Arkansas from Kansas City. Okay, let's get all this extra off of there. All right, so now I'm gonna peel this up. So you see that? Isn't that cute? And then I'm just gonna lay it back down. There we go, lay it back down. If you were to be doing this with paste, like on a chalkboard or wood, you'd have to be working a little bit quicker because the paste does dry quicker, but the ink is a little bit more forgiving. You just have to be careful not to use too much of it because it is thinner. You don't want to get any bleeds. And when you peel it up, make sure you go back and make sure that the transfer is pushed down all the way. Columbus, Ohio. Thanks for watching, Kelsey. Um, okay. Let's get the lids on these. These are the older inks. So they used to come in two ounce sizes and I still have some. These I have had for probably over a year. The inks are really good. Um, have a really good shelf life. They last a long, long time. These are the newer ones. So the Couture ink, three ounces. So one jar of ink lasts you, oh, quite a long time. <laughs> you could probably make about 50 of these with one of those jars. Okay, so we were gonna do, I'm gonna get out another multi-tool in case we need that. All right, let's do the, let's do the coral words first. That way I don't forget about them. Thank you everyone for watching. Hoping you're having a good hoping you're having a good weekend. So we are gonna do stars. So my daughter's room, so she's four months old. Her room is kind of the teal, not really teal, it's more of a mint green and pink color, and I couldn't find we don't have ink colors that match her colors, the room uh, colors of her room exactly, but this was about as close as I could get. So after I'm done using it for my show, so it's just gonna be like a demo piece for my booth in St. Louis, um, I'm gonna put it up in her room. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna peel that up. Ta -da! Look at that, cute, cute. And then I'm gonna put it back down just here. That just keeps the ink from drying in the transfer because it's a silk screen. So if you've never seen Chalk Couture before, if you're not sure how it works, basically it's a silk screen stencil, so it's a mesh inside of here. You don't want the ink or the paste, whatever you're using, to get trapped in that mesh. All right, and then we're gonna do Moon. That's what you guys suggested. Uh, drop a quick number for me. If you have seen or heard of or tried Chalk Couture, um, if you have seen, heard of it, tried it, anything like that, put a one in the comments. If you have not seen it before, uh, put a two in the comments. So one is, yes, I've seen it before. Even if you've just seen it like in a YouTube video or something like that, put a one. If you haven't seen it before, put a two. I'm just curious who has and who hasn't. So it's been around for 
a little over a year, well, I guess a year and a half now, but a lot of people still haven't heard about it. So if you're crafty at all, this is the way to go. And honestly, you don't even have to be crafty because even my five-year-old son, even my five-year-old son can do this. In fact, he came in the garage as I was starting. Can I help you, Mommy? I'm like, no. This is really one that Mommy needs to do. Ooh, we got a couple ones. We got a couple twos. Awesome. I'm going to peel that off. So these are reusable stencils. So for those of you who said two, they are reusable silk screens. So they have a sticky back to them. You wash them in water, and then you can reuse them anywhere from 8 to 12 times, depending on how well you take care of them. And I'm taking a really long time with this project because I'm doing all sorts of different colors and stuff, but you can make one of these in minutes. Like that is the nice, easy thing about it. Um, Athena asked, why are you pulling up the transfer after you do each color? Um, the reason I'm doing that is to keep the ink from drying inside of this mesh that's in here because if the ink dries in the mesh, when you go to pull it off, the ink is gonna stay on the transfer instead of going through to the canvas banner. Does that make sense? So if you were working quick enough, you wouldn't have to, but since I'm trying to talk, <laughs> I'm talking and inking at the same time, um, I pull it up just to make sure that it doesn't dry. You don't have to worry about that so much with the ink, but if you are using our paste, let me grab a paste real quick. So this is our paste, it's a little bit thicker. You would use the paste on uh, wood, chalkboard, pretty much you ink on fabrics, you chalk on everything else, pretty much. The ink is permanent after you heat set it. So I've got my Cricut Easy Press over here and I'm going to heat set it with a banner you don't have to worry about heat presenting it so much but like if you're going to do a pillowcase cover or if you're going to do a t-shirt you're going to want to heat set it so that when you throw it in the wash it doesn't come off hello i'm excited you found me too athena um give my page a like if you want and i try and do lives on here at least three times a week so you'll see all sorts of projects um I'll also put, I'm gonna put my website in the comments so that you guys can, oh, come on, kcchalk.com, so you guys can check it out more. There is, we had a brand new uh, mini suite release come out last week called the Celebration Suite, but there's so many cute, um, this is a tricky one, er, there we go. So many cute summer designs came out so if you're interested in those you can take a look at those i get this on my hands all the time there we go usually the whole like inking it and then peeling it is easier if you start from the top and go down but since i'm doing all these colors i wanted to make sure that i get it got the colors in first so now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the rest of it in teal. So if you said two, oops, there we go. If you said two, go ahead and, or even if you said one, either way, make sure you like my page so you can see some more videos on it. Um, I also have a YouTube channel, it is called DIY by KCK. I'm just making sure this is pressed down. DIY by KCK where you can see a whole bunch of other projects that I've done. If you are interested in learning more about the stencils, about the transfers or the ink or the paste or anything like that, shoot me a message. I'd be happy to chat with you. Um, you can become a designer and receive 40% off of all the products. There's just a $99 starter kit or you can just be a customer and we have some really cool customer programs too if you wanted to do it as a hobby. All right, so the rest of this, I think I got it all. Yep, because those are the only three I was gonna do. So now I'm just gonna go to town and do the rest of it in 
teal. You don't want to press too hard because you don't want to get any bubbles in your transfer. So no bubbles, no good. If you have ever used like a Cricut machine or a Silhouette machine to make vinyl stencils, you know how irritating that can be. And then when you're done with it, you have to throw it away. Which is like, seriously, I just went to all that work to create that stencil, to cut it out, to weed it, and now I have to throw it away. Come on. So I have actually stopped, for the most part, using my Cricut to create stencils. I basically do this now. Because it's so easy. And I love it. And anybody can do it. You do not have to be crafty. All right, I'm going to do the top half and then I'm going to peel it back before it dries. Make sure I get it all in there. I'm going to come back with my multi tool and get that. There we go. I just think this is a cute saying. I love it. If you have seen Chalk Couture before, so if you have, if you put a one in the comments, if you have and you've thought about joining, let me know because we have, I have a little join incentive for joining my team this month and I would love to talk to you about it if you're interested. I'm just going to get that little section there. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um, Jacqueline asked, do you ever sell finished products? In person, Jacqueline, yes I do. Um, I don't sell a lot of finished products online just because of the logistics. There we go. The logistics of shipping larger items, things like that. But I do sell them like in my booths at shows. If you decide to become a designer, you can sell finished items and you don't have to necessarily say that you are chalk couture. So if you have like a crafting business already and you just want to add chalk couture as, you know, a medium for creating your things, that's totally okay. Uh, Kelsey asked, as a designer, does that mean you're basically a consultant? Yes, that's what it is. We call them designers, um, independent designers, consultant, stylist. Let's see what other terms have I heard. All that. That's basically what it is. So you get 40% off of everything, and that's 40% off of things that you want to sell but that's also 40% off of things that you want to use for personal use. So either way. And if you want more info on that, um, message me or just put something in the comments and I can go back and I can message you. Anybody. The minimums are pretty low. It's pretty flexible. I love it. The thing that I love the most is that you can, you're not tied to just selling. Oh, my easy press is beeping at me. It's telling me to hurry up. Um, you are not tied to just selling products, which is amazing. So obviously, yes, like you can sell the stencils, but if you wanted to do a craft show, and just sell finished items. You can totally do that. If you want to do paint parties where you get a group of girls together and everybody makes their own project like, like this, um, you can totally do that, which is what I love. So it's so much more flexible. And seriously, it's just fun. Okay, this squeegee is getting a little big, so I'm going to go to What's your join incentive? Um, Kathy, I will message you. Because I can't say it here. 
It's a free gift. Uh, but Kathy, I will message you. And doo -doo 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 -doo. Kelsey, I will message you too. As soon as I get done here, I'm gonna wash this stencil. Just wash it in water. I'm gonna run inside and feed my, I actually think my husband is feeding my kids already. <laughs> Oops. Um, and then yes, I will message you. So give me about an hour or so afterwards and I will be happy to chat. And we have an awesome team, you guys. I love my team. I have never, okay, I'll confess, I never liked direct sales. I don't know if it was just, I don't know, like the way that people would message me. I don't I don't know why I didn't like direct sales. I was like, I'm never gonna be in direct sales, oh my gosh. And then this came along and I'm a crafty person. I already had a crafty business and it was like glorious. It was amazing. And I tried it once and decided that I needed to, I needed to do it too. So I love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. Okay. Are we ready everybody? Yeah. I'm so excited to peel this off. Ah. When you wash this in water, the ink might stain the green part of the transfer. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. I'm in love. So the ink might stain the transfer a little bit. That is totally okay. As long as you get it out of, if you guys can see that, as long as you get it out of the mesh part, that's the important part. And I'm going to set this down somewhere. So the ink is permanent. <laughs> if you are getting it, if you get it on your clothes, wash it right away. Um, and I th think I just got some on my shirt, but that's okay. All right, so isn't that adorable, you guys? I love it. It's gonna go in my daughter's room. She's so, she's so cute, she's so perfect. She's like the easiest baby ever. So now I'm gonna hair dry this really quick and um, my computer just died. So I'm gonna try and see comments on my phone, but if not, I will go back afterwards and uh, respond to messages. And so I'm gonna dry this first. You always wanna make sure it's dry before you heat set. And then I'm going to do my, um, my heat setting with my easy press. So give me just a second, maybe. You know, it would help if I plugged in the hair dryer. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, plug in the hair dryer. Goodness gracious, it's been a long day and it's a Saturday. Like, what is that? Here we go. Come on. There we go.
colors that I did first are pretty good. The teal is still a little bit, so if you touch it lightly, if it's sticky at all, then you know it's still kind of wet. So I'm just gonna show you really quick how to heat set it. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because it's still kind of damp. Um, and then, really because, so I'm just using an old t-shirt that I cut up. You can use parchment paper or anything like that. Because I'm not gonna be washing it, it's not a huge deal if it's not totally heat set. Um, there we go. So, oh, bummer. I didn't up my temperature. So usually, I can't do it now that I've started it, but I usually do it about 325. If you're just using an iron, that's fine. It just takes you longer, like three minutes or so. So I'm just gonna set that. And do, 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 do. There we go, it beeps. And then go to the next side. Oh goodness. I still have the ink mat on. That's okay. So you should take the ink mat out. If it's not, it's not sticking to it, it's fine. It's fine. So usually I would take the ink mat out and then I would put something underneath it. This is just an easy press pillow that I got. You can put it on an ironing board, anything like that. Easy, easy. I'm just gonna do this a couple times. Not gonna do the whole thing, so but you guys get the idea. I think my son is ready for me to be done. I, I, I told him 10 minutes and it's been like a long time. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna call that good. Turn off the easy press, unplug it. There we go. All right. So you would want to do the whole thing, especially if you were going to wash it. So you could do this with um, pillow covers. You could do t-shirts. You could do a little bit of everything. So then I'm going to take my little wooden pieces here and whoop, clip them together. And I'm going to grab my twine. That's not even. That's going to bother me. There we go. The new banners that we have, um, that we came out with, have little grooves for the banner, which is amazing makes it so much easier. So I'm just gonna tie this on here. Come on. There we go. And then you can hang this up on a wall, you could put it up, you could get a little stand, like those wreath stands be really cute put it out on a porch or something like that there we go so it's got that now hopefully you guys can see that and zoop, there we go ta-da isn't that adorable so you've got the banner on both sides I can't see it so I hope you guys can see that okay isn't that cute so yeah if you have any questions or anything um, feel free to comment or shoot me a message um, I will message those of you who asked for me to message you I will do that here soon as soon as I get dinner taken care of and yeah that's pretty much it so hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday night um, happy chalking and that's all. So thanks everyone for tuning in. Bye.